This week, we take you to the new Sea Life Aquarium on iDrive. And we'll also find out what's up this summer at Disney World. Plus, the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to undercovertourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Banks. How was it? It was wonderful. I spent the day shopping by myself at Florida Mall and I had a ball. I loved it. There's nothing like some retail therapy. Um, <laughs> and then Jonathan and I went to Hoop Dee Doo that night. Ooh, I love Hoop Dee Doo. Me too. Was it your first time there? Oh, no. No, no. no. I've been going since I was a little, little girl, so. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, we were there together because yeah. we both got pulled up on stage. for that. that was my first time. I loved it. Oh, yes. it was so much fun. I would love to go back and see that. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. what all did you get for your birthday? Um, I got, well, I got to go to Hoop Dee Doo. My, mm -hmm. my parents took me out to dinner the next night and we went to Bonefish. Um, I, nothing like too big. It was kind of a, a tame birthday this year, but just spent time with my family. That's all I wanted. That's all you can ask for. Yeah, exactly. definitely. Oh, there's some big stuff happening in News in the queue. so let's take a look. The King is headed back to Universal Orlando. No, we're not talking about Elvis. I give her a mark. <laughs> <laughs> the Skull Island Reign of Kong ride will open in the summer of 2016 at Universal's Islands of Adventure. It begins as guests are transported deep into Skull Island, where their mission is to discover creatures of unknown origin. But they are soon fighting for their own survival as their 1930s expedition is swarmed by enormous prehistoric predators. Their journey will take them through an ancient temple inhabited by hostile natives, a perilous jungle ruled by prehistoric creatures, caves concealing unspeakable terrors, and then they will come face to face with the colossal King Kong himself. Mm. Universal Creative is working closely with Peter Jackson, director of 2005's King Kong movie, on this new adventure. Boy, I had no idea this was coming. <laughs> I this know, right? This is a right? shock. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> of course, one of the worst kept secrets in Orlando in recent times, but exciting that they're finally talking about it. We have concept art, we have a few details, and uh, an opening uh, time frame. It's so, you know, I love the way Universal works with how fast they get their things out. I mean, I don't think this 2016 summer, I don't think that's very far away. It's, it's just a little over a year away, and they've yeah. already got so much built there. I mean, the, the exterior facade is just about done already. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the work, I'm sure, is going inside on the interiors and the ride so tracks. So they get and lots of time to work on all those details. Exactly, exactly. And the fact that, you know, it, it's not officially, it wasn't announced in the release, but from all the things I'm hearing, that there will be a giant animatronic King Kong within the ride. So of course, perfect. perfect. It's it's I I because I, I miss confrontation. The old ride that used to be at the studios park. Yeah. So this is going to be great, and then hopefully this will tie in with the Skull Island movie that's coming out in the next year or two. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited. That's, that's the thing is like seeing something huge in 3D is one thing, but then actually seeing it like right there with your own eyes, mm -hmm. that's, that's completely different. Mm. So, I mean, probably. Universal's been so you know wrapped up in doing a lot of screens for their ride because they really want to immerse you into the action and you can't really do a lot of that with sets, which I mm -hmm. understand, mm -hmm. but at the same time, there is that little bit of, you know. Wow factor. Exactly, mm -hmm. from an animatronic. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens in a year. Mm -hmm. Now, Aquatica is celebrating the first birthday of Ihu's Breakaway Falls with a splash. Aquatica has invited guests to challenge their friends during Ihu's Challenge Nights, a special all-inclusive separate ticketed event. Parking is free and special in-park offers include a picnic meal and exclusive access to Ihu's Breakaway Falls. Wa I hope I'm pronouncing these right. Wanu, Wanau? 
I you think it's Wanu. Wanu Way, Amaka Raka, and the Wave Pools after park closing. Challenge Nights tickets start at $25 and take place on May 8th, 15th, and 22nd. Yeah, those, some of those words are kind of hard to pronounce <laughs> at Aquatica. They are, they are. I still have yet to go ride on Ihu's Breakaway Falls due to the weight limits, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm working on losing that, so mm -hmm. hopefully I'll be able to ride it sometime soon. But have you gotten to take the plunge I yet? I still have not taken the plunge. Oh. I don't know why. There's Maybe there's just something deep within me that's just staying away but oh this sounds like a really great event you should probably take advantage of this it's true this is a good event especially for people that yeah want to go at a time where maybe it's not as crowded because i feel like they always have a really long line especially when it's a nice beautiful day it's true it's true and it's a nice uh, low cost uh, mm -hmm. uh, that you're just paying for the special event like you said, if you just want to go ride this ride this is the perfect time so you don't have to pay a full price and see the whole park you just want to do the ride absolutely take advantage of this the Orlando Eye, Madame Tussauds, and Sea Life Aquarium are now officially open over on I Drive 360. Standing at 400 feet high or nearly 100 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty, the Orlando Eye is the tallest observation wheel on the U.S. East Coast. Madame Tussauds Orlando showcases lifelike wax figures that pay tribute to celebrity and historical figures. And Sea Life Orlando offers displays of colorful fish, sharks, jellies, seahorses, rays, sea turtles, and more. Stay tuned for a look inside later in the show. Special price tickets are available for all three attractions, starting at $18 for adults and $13 for children under 12, as well as combination tickets that include Legoland Florida and free transportation to Legoland from iDrive360. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was laughing because, uh, jellies. Jellies. <laughs> it reminds me of Finding Nemo, and he's like, jellies, cool. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> but anyway. How'd you enjoy it? Because, you know, we were there last week filming the show. Oh, we had such a good day. I really liked it. You know, some people were asking me, you know, Elisa, is it worth it? Is it worth to go? And I said, absolutely. To at least go once to experience it. And the eye in itself is worth it. And then to be able to do the eye and Madame Tussauds and Sea Life all in one place, like it's it's definitely fantastic. I agree. And and the, uh, I mean, yeah, depending on where you buy it, if you buy it in person, the, the combination ticket for all three is $49. Mm -hmm. Online, I think it's 35 uh, It's well worth it for three attractions. Oh my gosh, yes. And two of them are museums you can take your time to walk through. Yeah, it's and there's something for each part of the family like if if your little one isn't all about Madame Tussauds they'll love sea life and then everybody will love the eye to see Orlando in that way I completely agree and, and I know we've talked about this I really do hope that they do like special flights on the eye especially during like July 4th or New mm -hmm. Year's get that fireworks New view Year's, from up yes. there of all the parks yeah. oh my god and then also to connect that with Legoland that's fantastic since Legoland's a little bit further away you don't have to go far from Orlando they'll take you right there and then you come back and do everything else exactly. all in one day I like that and, and then we, we I don't think we've talked about it but they now they ha they have announced there's annual passes where you can do Legoland and these three attractions for I think $150 a year if you buy the pass brand new. Fantastic. So I, I think it's completely worth it. Definitely. Finally this week, several themes for the development of lands at Tokyo Disney Resort have been finalized. For Tokyo Disneyland, two of the areas within Fantasyland will be themed to the Disney films Beauty and the Beast and Alice in Wonderland. The overall theme for a new port at Tokyo Disney Sea will be Scandinavia, with a portion being themed for the world of Frozen. These new areas will include attractions, restaurants, and other facilities. So, you know, so we saw this kind of coming. We knew Frozen would somehow get integrated in <laughs> Tokyo. Course, yeah. But I think this is the best way because um, with the with with Disney Sea, I've never been there in person, but from what I can understand, they have different ports of call. Mm -hmm. But um, this port of call is going to be Scandinavia, with just a little bit themed to Frozen. And from what friends have told me who have been there, uh, the Arabian Coast area is has a little bit of Aladdin themed into mm. it, but it's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. so, just um, enough. It's just enough, exactly. So I this like will be good. That. that is very cool. And I haven't been to Tokyo. I was at Hong Kong Disney, but. I really like that they're doing Alice in Wonderland. That's right. Yeah. That's we haven't really seen anything new Alice in Wonderland really this much in the park since they the ride opened at Disneyland in California. Mm -hmm. and so this is great to really have a whole land now because this really is a classic film. Mm -hmm. Hooray for new things. Hooray. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hidden Mickey of the Week. We're in Disney's Hollywood Studios and inside the Pizza Planet Arcade. So above the arcade games, there's a moon way up high. And in the moon, near the top of the mural, 
you can spot a three-quarter Mickey profile facing left. It's quite faint, and sometimes you can see it better if you go up the steps, but it's a great side profile hidden Mickey, one of my favorites. Last week, we took you on the Orlando Eye at the new iDrive 360. This week, we're going back to take you down to the depths of the oceans at Sea Life Aquarium. Our reporter, Jesse, dived in just to show you the brand new attraction. Let's take a look. I am here at iDrive 360. You see Madame Tussauds. You've seen the Orlando Eye. Now it's time to see Sea Life. I'm so excited. <laughs> There's lots of different pop-up opportunities for you to get inside the aquarium with all of these wonderful sea life. Hi everyone! Hi! A really cool bridge. Oh, hi, shark. <laughs> Throughout the Sea Life exhibit, they'll have little activities for you to do with your dive book. So you take your dive book, stick it into these, and mark off as you earn different things. stations that teaches you a little bit more about the education of the ocean. This one is teaching you what to eat and what not to eat to help conserve the ocean a little bit more. So it's saying that you know they're running out of space for certain species like don't eat a cod, eat a mackerel. Don't eat a shrimp, eat a mussel. We are entering the Atlantic Ocean Tunnel which you can see here. It's a giant dome of sea life. One of the most amazing features of this aquarium is their 360 aquarium that we're heading into right now. Ooh, okay. There are over 50 sea life aquariums in the world. Each one will have an indigenous part that is from where they are. And of course, we got the Everglades. We are here at the Coastal Rock Pools, where I am rolling up my sleeves because I get to touch some of these really cool animals. This might be the highlight of my day, I'm not gonna lie.
Well, it looks like we're at a gift shop, which means my adventure here is coming to an end. But yours is just beginning. Come and enjoy sea life. It's open every day of the week. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Thanks. I heard you went to the summer announcement at Walt Disney World. You always get to do the coolest assignments. Hey, coolest is right. This summer's theme at Disney World is coolest summer ever. See, that just proves my point. Hey, well, you get to do a bunch of fun stuff too. But, but hey, let's take a look at all the coolness everyone will be able to experience this summer at Disney. All right. Here right outside Disney's coolest summer ever showcase. Now right through those doors, we're going to get a preview of all the cool things coming to the Walt Disney World Resort this summer. So let's go inside. Got a map here so we can go see where we're gonna go. There's a lounge right here in the center area, and then all stuff from like all the parks there, the resorts, uh, cruise line, water parks, um, full of resident offerings. Let's go take a look. All right, Robert, so it looks like there's gonna be a lot of fun merchandise coming out this summer, Star Wars weekends and other things. Give us a little overview here. All right, so Star Wars weekend starts this month in May, and so we have this great lightsaber, baseball bat, and ball. So you have your lightsaber as the bat and the ball as the Death Star, throw it and you can actually conquer the dark side uh, awesome. in your backyard. So that's a lot of fun. With Detect Me, we have some new products coming out. Folks can actually uh, transform themselves to become a Jedi Knight. So that's a great opportunity at Star Wars weekends as well. And then we have these great magic bands, graphic magic bands, also launching during Star Wars weekends mm -hmm. uh, on a limited release program. So we're excited about those. And uh, over here, um, are these some more, is he Dooney and Burke? Right, so Dooney and Burke, uh, these summer beach bags and the theme with the coolest summer ever, of course. Uh, coming out this July, we have uh, these great Dooney and Burke bags with a new leather that uh, is somewhat waterproof, so you won't, won't feel so bad carrying it out. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. The Memento Mori shop over in the Haunted Mansion mm -hmm. continues to be really popular with our guests. Uh, so with a lot of great product, and of course this summer, uh, you want your ear hats to glow at night. So made with magic products. Uh, these interact with near range technology. And this is really fun. We have this uh, Mickey, Mickey wand where it sends and receives signals. So you can actually change the color of the ear hats as they're walking by. So we've got a booth about the reimagining of downtown Disney right here, you know, turning into Disney Springs. And wow, it's a really lifelike statues here. I'm sure they'll be able to be able to see them around downtown Disney. Oh, hello. They are very lifelike. All right, John, so, you know, you're, you have to deal with a lot of synergy here at the parks and no greater synergy than Tomorrowland at Epcot right now. What, what's going on with that preview right now? Well, that preview is, it's a great experience. Um, it's right now over in Tomorrowland in the Imagination Theater, runs through May 24th, and it's, it's, uh, a 12-minute exclusive clip to Disney Parks that really uh, gives you the tone and the feel of what the movie is all about. Um, and the nice thing is we've actually programmed that theater with effects to, to surround the film. So it feels like you're really immersed into the scenes that you're seeing. I, I've seen the preview multiple times. You know, I've got, they've got the pins here. <laughs> I'm so excited for this movie. Now, when this preview does end, What's next for the Magic Eye Theater? We just announced this morning we are actually having another sneak preview come into the Magic Eye Theater. It's going to be on May 30th. We're going to open a exclusive preview of Inside Out, which is Pixar's next film. I'm very excited about that one. That looks like a good movie. Oh, it's a great film. It's all about, again, Riley, the 11-year-old, and the voices in her head. So we've got these great characters of joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear, and how those play out inside your head as you're growing up. All right, Nick, so we got Star Wars Weekends coming up right around the corner here. What new things are guests going to experience this year? Well, Star Wars Weekends is really as close to the Force as you can get. We've really found that our guests love the immersive experience we provide. So in addition to our 60 characters, our Symphony in the Stars fireworks, did you hear the two um, icons we have coming to Star oh Wars Weekends? Gosh, I am excited about this. Oh, Frank Oz will be here on Weekend 5, Ian McDermott on Weekend 1. Really just total 
encompassing the entire galaxy. You know, you've got obviously the voice of Yoda with Frank Oz, Ian McDermott, who plays the Emperor. Um, it's we're so excited. They've never been to Star Wars weekends before. So like last year we had Mark Hamill. Mm -hmm. We've got two new guys that we're really excited about. Do you know, or can you say, are they going to be doing uh, autograph sessions or will it be like Mark Hamill last year where he'll just appear in multiple shows? Yeah, they're going to appear in some shows, but no autograph sessions for those two individuals. Okay. You know, we really want to get them in front of as many guests as possible. So they'll be in the motorcade, they'll do a conversation with show, mm -hmm. uh, similar to Mark Hamill. Very good. Now, um, you got Star Wars, you got Episode 7 coming out in December here. It seems like the big hit right now ahead of the movie is BB-8. Any chance we may see an appearance by him? You know, Star Wars Weekends will continue to celebrate the entire saga. You know, so the future is bright. Um, we've we will hope to have really a big presence with Star Wars Rebels. You know, if that was a little bit of a presence last year at Star mm -hmm. Wars Weekends, but this year all of our fans know and love it. Right. So you'll see us really celebrating that and really celebrating the entire saga. So I mean, the future's bright. We'll see. So at Disney's Hollywood Studios over outside Disney Junior live on stage, pretty soon you're going to see Doc McStuffins. You'll be able to meet her in person. And actually, here she is right now. I want to say hi. Hi, Doc. How are you doing? I want to give you a hug here. I, I have a nine-month-old daughter, and I know she is going to love your show. In fact, she's already starting to watch it. She's loving it. So I'm excited to take her out and have her meet you for the first time. Here at Animal Kingdom, of course, Vessel Lion King recently moved to Harambe, and looks like one of the Tumblr monkeys is out. <laughs> say, how are you doing? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's, 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 are, are you enjoying your new home in Animal Kingdom? <laughs> that's actually really, that's pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so here in the Animal Kingdom booth, they are previewing some of the offerings that are going to be at the new Harambe Marketplace. It's opening up soon. In fact, I was just there yesterday getting a tour inside there. We have an interview with one of the Imagineers in charge of the project, so take a look at that. All right, so Joan, uh, tell, tell our viewers here, what are they going to expect when they enter Harambe Marketplace here in the future? Well, Harambe Marketplace is an expansion, extension of existing Harambe Village in Disney's Animal Kingdom. And it's really a very authentic, vibrant, colorful, energetic marketplace East African experience. You'll get the food, the flavors, the colors, the textures, the experience of that warm, inviting, intimate atmosphere. And so it's got food, it's got beverages. Uh, what, exactly. what, what are guests going to be able to eat when they're here? Well, we have a variety of offerings. We have curried sausages, we have skewered meat, we have ribs, we have a great drink menu. So I think there's a great list of offerings available for our guests for, of all different tastes. And how is this going to expand the story of Harambe? Because you had the new theater district that opened up uh, early, uh, not too long ago. How's, how will this expand that? Exactly. I think it. I think it rounds out the Harambe experience. It's like life in a real town. So people will be able to go get live entertainment in our sort of theater tourist district. They'll be able to go through the main thoroughfare of town, which is a little more formal. They'll have the experience on Kilimanjaro Safari attraction, and then they'll be able to come and wind down and enjoy a beverage and, a, and something to eat at Harambe Market, just like, a real, just like a real town. And you say about late May, guessing you expect this to open up? Yes, uh, late, uh, late May is our, our, is our uh, projected opening time. As you can see from the photos and the videos, it is absolutely beautiful in there. And right here they have uh, one of the corn dogs and drinks that are going to be available there. This is a, a watermelon lemonade. I've never had a watermelon lemonade before, so. Ooh, oh, ice. Mm. That definitely is a great relaxing taste of, of lemonade at the same time a, a hint of watermelon too. Exactly what it says. So if this is what I think it is, I think this is something that's been long overdue. Uh, Disney Vacation Account, exactly what is it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's our newest program here at Disney. It's an online savings tool that helps you to budget and um, create a savings plan that uh, is just right for you so you can save a little bit at a time for your Disney Dream Vacation. So the website, it actually helps you um, once you tell us where you want to go, and uh, Walt Disney World, Disney Cruise Line, Aulani, um, Adventures by Disney or Disneyland California, all of those destinations, when you want to go, and then we help you think through all the things that you need to save for to reach that um, goal. And we break it down month, uh, weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly, so you know how much you need to save, and we even automate it if you want through our partnership with J.P. Morgan and Chase. So you can make one-time contributions or you can set it and forget it with our automated tool. Um, and then 
once you do reach your goal and you purchase your vacation, we give you a $20 Disney gift card for every $1,000 you spend on qualified vacation purchases. So, very great benefit. So the, the hub expansion at the Magic Kingdom, what's been open so far is absolutely gorgeous. Can you talk a little bit about the process of bringing that to life? Sure. We are so excited about this expansion. And if you really think back historically, Main Street USA for so long was a corridor to get to the other great places at the Magic Kingdom. Several years back, we made this very conscious decision to add lots of new entertainment and great offerings to Main Street USA and that Castle Forecourt area. And by doing so, that created a great opportunity for us to rethink that space to make sure we had an opportunity to create beautiful green spaces where our guests can relax by day where they can watch the fireworks at night mm -hmm. so we one thing that we've added are two areas we're calling the plaza gardens and those are fast pass plus viewing areas for the wishes fireworks spectacular my favorite thing about those areas though is really watching them during the day our cat our guests we've seen them out there doing yoga <laughs> reading books just relaxing it's a space at the magic kingdom we just haven't had before and it's so beautiful. And I've seen in the concept art, it looks like uh, I'm starting to see them rise up. There's some castle turrets being added as well. There are. They're spectacular. So what you've seen review, uh, revealed so far is the south side of the hub, mm -hmm. or what we're calling the central plaza area. The north side is still under wraps. So coming this fall, you're going to see when you look at the castle, this beautiful expansion and scope of the castle where we're adding new turrets on each side of the castle. Now secretly, those turrets are going to hide some things that we need to make the show even better but they're going to be fantastic and you know it's hard to think of ways to make the Cinderella Castle even more beautiful mm -hmm. but this is it we're so excited about it so uh, talking to Melissa over there at the showcase really got me uh, excited to come over here to the Magic Kingdom and check out the new expanded hub here so since we were at the contemporary I just walked right on over and it, she's right I mean it really is really comfortable just to sit down and relax and enjoy the scenery Coolest summer ever coming up this summer. I'm excited. Hope you are too. Hope to see you out here this summer. Come on out to the hub here and, and, and relax. Just take a load off. Rest. Cool off this summer. <sighs>
as a mother. So it's going to be That's really so fun. Special. We're taking her to and Spencer to Discovery Cove. All of our first times there. So we are very excited. And I want to thank you for helping us get some good oh, deals on the on that. So I, I can't wait. What are you up to? Um, well, Sunday, Sunday night and Monday night, I got tickets for the to be in the audience for American Ninja Warrior. You know, I did too for Monday yes. for Monday night. Monday? So okay. we'll, we'll have to. Which which tapings are you going to? Um, I got 10:30 and 12:30. Okay, I got 10:30 and 2:30 a.m. So. Yeah, this is all. <laughs> it's an overnight. In the middle of the night, so we're gonna have to have some coffee or something. Yeah, but. hopefully that Starbucks in on the New York section will be we'll open be during <laughs> that time because we're gonna need lots of it. <laughs> I'm excited though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. upcoming comedy show at Treasure Tavern Theater Tavern and of course if you're actually alone in the park don't forget to I forgot <laughs> Banks I heard you got to go to this new new is it new new some sorry yeah no Snow. what it's cool <laughs>